Hello everyone, Tara here, the Planner Llama, and I'm going to be doing a little haul from Aurora and Avalon Creations, and also a plan with me. So I'm really happy this order came in, and this is a little card that, a cardstock card that they include with their information to their shop right here. I'll also link it down below. And then let's get into the package. Okay, we'll just put that off to the side. And I can't really remember what I bought other than this kit here. But first we will get into this here. And this is a little Christmas card that they sent out. And it's really cute. Love it. Love it. Okay, let's see here. This is the kit that I was hoping hoping that it would come in in time for Christmas and it did and I am very very happy look how adorable this is it's called happy holidays I love the color I love everything about it and I'll just do a quick little flip through so you had your full boxes you have your checklist your washi oh wow there is so much here okay <laughs> You get an awful lot in the kit, and I absolutely love it. And they do have some sales coming up, so be sure to join their Facebook group and follow them on Instagram because their sales are amazing, and it's going to be great for the new year season. So that is great. And when you pick a PR girl, you will get their special uh, freebie, and this here is from Elisa Love Day and it is for the third eye chakra i'm not sure if i'm saying that right bear with me then there's also this little freebie that they included and i'm sorry if my hands are actually appearing like they're shaking i have been on some medication to help with a sinus infection and chest infection and it's working and i'm happy and one of the side effects is shaking <laughs> So here is this one kit here, and I don't see the name of it, but it is a beautiful kit in person. I had been waiting and waiting. When I, they first put it out, I wanted it right away, but then it got lost in the shuffle, and I absolutely love it. And here are the full boxes, and I do believe this is not going to be for sale much longer. I do believe that it is, here are the check boxes that it is in the last chance look at how beautiful this can look so great for a summer spread or just whenever depending on how you like to do your layouts absolutely love it I'm probably not doing my best uh, describing what I have here I'm hoping that the color is going to show up good because it's a nice minty uh, pastel color and a pink and a brown I really love it and here's a little deco it's been, a, it's been a while since I uh, have had a minute to sit down. This week has been exceptionally busy. So here I got some two-page kits. And these were add-ons to the Spring Blessings. I had to get the glitter headers. And then here you have moon phases and some quarter boxes. Your weekly headers and your date covers. Wow. <laughs> I am just... Yep, we're going to wing it. And then I got these beautiful pastel birds. I'm hoping that it will focus because this art is absolutely amazing. I do believe, yes, this is called Spring Blessings. It's a two-page kit with optional add-ons. And this is the washi and some dots and some little deco and the checklist. And then last but not least, I got this, I believe this is Yuletide, perhaps? Perhaps. I know it's a winter one and the artwork is absolutely amazing. Again, it is a two page kit. So here is the washi. And that's what I got from Aurora and Avalon Creations. And I will link the shop information down below so you can check them out. And I recommend that you do because they have 
and an amazing assortment of stickers and there's something for everyone. And let's get ready and hop into the plan with me. Okay, so I am planning for the last week of December, the 23rd to the 29th, in my Happy Planner Budget Edition. And Mr. Buddy is making his last appearance for 2019 in one of the videos. So here I was hoping I wouldn't have to white out a lot of the navy blue color. And thankfully the stickers are of great quality, so I didn't have that problem. Later you will see me do some whiting out as the stickers are more white in tone than they are in color and I decided to change it up and I wanted to go with the full boxes on the top rather than scattered like I had been doing. I did notice there was a bit of a gap, I might have ordered the wrong size kit but that's never really been a problem because I always find a way to make it work. So I'm laying down the quarter boxes so that way I can write down for the week the main goal of the day and then also I can add other goals throughout the day in the to-do list. This week has been very busy for me as I am sure it has been very busy for a lot of other people as well. I am happy to report that I'm officially done Christmas shopping at the time of filming this video. It is just before the week of Christmas and I am very happy to say I am finally done. And I'm actually done wrapping the gifts as well. I did leave it longer than usual, but thankfully nobody is around to see the gifts that I had bought them. One thing I do look forward to is listening to my boyfriend trying to wrap gifts. It is very entertaining. I will hear the scissors hit the floor a few times as well as more tape than what you would think would be needed. I can hear it being used and also I hear the tape hitting the floor, lots of scuffling of wrapping paper, scissors. It's, it's really entertaining and some of the things that comes out of his mouth you just can't help but laugh. Uh, I just remember one year specifically he goes, what is this? What, what am I doing with my life? What am I even doing? This looks like somebody pulled it out of the garbage. Like, it was just very dramatic and hilarious. <laughs> so I actually look forward to hearing that. And I'm sure, knowing him, it'll be Christmas Eve that I hear him wrapping the gifts. So that being said, I put down the to-do headers and I put down the, the little heart and poinsettia decoration checklist. And... I was also thinking once I got them all laid down, I would put down the meal uh, tracker for the week and I wasn't sure exactly if I was happy about where I would be placing it. So I looked through all the stickers that I have, which thankfully there are a lot to choose from in this kit. So I decided to white out the navy blue line. So that way it wouldn't show through on the sticker as I thought it would on the washi tape. So be sure to be following along on Instagram and I will link my Instagram down below planner.llama because Boxing Day sales are coming up and you do not want to miss those. I did cut my planner uh, clear in half there but I was able to use the extra pieces of washi that I had on hand. To fix it as I won't be using the backside of that weekly planner. I am going to be starting my new Recollections hardcover. I do believe this is the first year they've had hardcover um, planners, so it will be a new experience for me as well as many others from my understanding. And I will be doing a flip through or introductory video of it. So far, I like the idea of it. And I was able to crack the spine on the book enough that it is still intact and we're going to go from there and hope that it stays intact throughout the whole year. Down here you can see that I'm putting down the little half boxes and I like to go with one with a photo, one without, but there was uh, not enough of them with the photo, but because of the extra deco I was able to fix that very quickly. Usually I don't use the weekend header, 
but I am going to use it this week because it just looks good in the spot. I got this kit during a Black Friday sale. I do believe it was 50% off during a Power Hour sale, so be sure to follow the link that I will link down below to Aurora and Avalon Creations Facebook VIP group so that way you can find out about special sales and offers when they go live. It's a perks of being a member. So I'm tracking my weekly spending. I don't think there should be that much weekly spending as I'm pretty caught up and we've gotten groceries ahead of time and we're just trying to avoid the madness. I do know that on the 26th is Boxing Day here in Canada and there will be planner sales but there will also be actual physical shop sales. I'm not 100% if I am going to bother going out. It is like our Black Friday here, but so far I've viewed some of the upcoming details in flyers and there's nothing really calling out to me saying like, yes, this is a great end of year deal. It all seems to be the same sales as it normally is and this year they're just not as appealing as years in the past. I'm going to put down the little deco dots and some of the characters and I really find that it pulls in the spread even more and I'm trying to be careful not to use them all on the one side of my planner and I tend to do that every now and then so I have to go back and peel them up so this time I was really good at keeping track of making sure that I had enough deco stickers to decorate the top. I really do love this artwork so much so that I do believe I am going to have to order a second kit so I can have it for my 2020 planner because I really do love this artwork. Here you can see me putting down some icon stickers, of planning out garbage days, when I'm going to do certain cleanups, build dates and shopping as well as laundry. This is my last weekly spread in my classic planner budget edition. For the year 2019, I want to say thank you all very much for joining me throughout the year. And here's a flip through of the stickers left. I just want to say thank you and I wish you all happy planning and a great 2020. And I'll see you next time. Happy planning everyone. Goodbye.